Other intraventricular conduction delays. Other intraventricular conduction delays. Types of intraventricular conduction disturbances, IVCD, other than the typical bundle branch or fascicular blocks also occur. Other types of IVCD. Nonspecific IVCD. Masquerading bundle branch block. Bifascicular block. Trifascicular block. Alternating bundle branch block. Intermittent bundle branch block. Nonspecific IVCD. A nonspecific IVCD is defined as diffuse slowing of impulse conduction, involving the entire his porcanier system, resulting in a generalized and uniform delay in activation of the ventricular myocardium. Causes of nonspecific IVCD Ischemic heart disease, acute coronary syndromes, chronic coronary syndromes, old myocardial infarction, perinfarction block, diffuse myocardial fibrosis. Intracoronary injections of contrast material. Electrolyte disturbances, such as hyperkalemia. Drugs. ECG features. QRS duration greater than or equal to 120 millisecond. QRS morphology that does not resemble either left or right bundle branch block, and may even resemble the normal QRS morphology. An example of nonspecific IVCD, perinfarction block. There is wide QRS with terminal delay and notching that is not typical of left or right bundle branch block. Masquerading bundle branch block. In masquerading bundle branch block, the limb leads suggest left bundle branch block, while the chest leads suggest right bundle branch block. This pattern is usually associated with diffuse intramyocardial fibrosis. Masquerading bundle branch block, the limb leads suggest left bundle branch block while the chest leads suggest right bundle branch block. Bifascicular blocks Bifascicular block refers to different combinations of fascicular and bundle branch blocks. Right bundle branch block with left anterior fascicular block, the most common. Right bundle branch block with left posterior fascicular block. Left anterior fascicular block plus left posterior fascicular block, manifests as left bundle branch block. Trifascicular blocks. Trifascicular block involves conduction delay in the right bundle branch, and either the main left bundle branch, or both the left anterior and the left posterior fascicles. The resulting ECG pattern will depend on the relative degree of conduction delay in the affected fascicles. Ventricular activation starts at the insertion site of the fastest conducting fascicle, with subsequent spread of activation from that site to the remainder of the ventricles. ECG manifestations. Trifascicular block manifests as any of the following. Complete atrioventricular block, with a slow ventricular escape rhythm, wide bizarre QRS. Alternating right and left bundle branch block. Fixed right bundle branch block with alternating left anterior and left posterior fascicular block. Bifascicular block with first degree atrioventricular block. This combination on the surface ECG should not be considered as trifascicular block, because the site of atrioventricular block can be in the AV node, that is non-fascicular, or in the his porcanier system, that is, fascicular. Alternating bundle branch block Alternating right and left bundle branch block is manifested by alternation every other beat, or on different occasions. Intermittent bundle branch block Intermittent right or left bundle branch block is diagnosed when there are occasional QRS complexes with right bundle branch block or left bundle branch block, interspersed with QRS complexes that have a normal morphology. It is most often rate dependent, RR intervals of QRS manifesting bundle branch block are usually shorter compared to intervals of normal QRS. Thank you.